I'm Calvin, Hill Country Building and Renovation out of Spring Branch, Texas. So we do lots of projects in the Hill Country area. Today I'm at our house project in San Marcos and I just wanted to kind of uh, walk through. We got a lot of action going on today and kind of show uh, the kind of things that we do. So first of all, we've got a rainwater collection system going in. The owner wanted to have his water supply strictly from the sky, rainwater. So we'll see how well that works out. So these guys are here digging trenches, getting down here to the uh, collection tank. And uh, so we go up through the trees here. You can see the house up there that we're uh, currently working on. I'm kind of stepping around the rocks and the brush and so forth. So anyways, these guys, they put up gutter, down spouts, down into this piping system, and then down to the uh, tank. So in addition, we've got the uh, metal siding going up today. We got the roofers up there doing, doing their thing, getting their roofing done. On this house, it's a little noise over here. We don't have power, so we're running a generator. So this house has a porch on each side. We're about ready to do our sheetrock, so we got sheetrock here ready to go inside the house. Come along here on the back side. So they've got the... Uh, they got the piping in the ground, down spouts. Here is, here is Elam. Elam works for us and he does all the framing and uh, siding, cornice, all that kind of stuff. So um, anyways, he's working on siding right now. And of course, this is Marco. Actually, Elam works for Marco. Marco works for me. So uh, Marco uh, manages all the framing and so forth. So anyways, so we're back filling this trench back here. And here we are to the other side. As you can see, we got all the windows in. And uh, when we put windows in, we seal them with what's called window tape. A lot of people, when they put the windows in, they just do the windows, the Tyvek, call it good. We don't call that good. This uh, window tape is a protective membrane, and then the siding goes over the top of that, and that is what prevents water from getting in. So, as you can see, we've got it all framed out in here. We've got the plumbing in. we got the uh, HVAC installed all the mechanical electrical plumbing we're just now getting ready to run the sheetrock today we're also doing the uh, foam insulation so the way the foam insulation works is that it is sprayed in up at the roof deck so there's no insulation at the ceiling joist because the whole envelope of the house is insulated. So what does that mean? It's much more efficient and when you go up into the attic it's not a heater. The attic is about one to two degrees warmer or colder than the rest of the house. And that makes a lot of sense because why create a very hot space up in your attic and then insulate the ceiling against the hot spot in the attic. So that's kind of uh, how that works. And uh, it is a little more expensive. When foam first came out, it was very expensive, but it's not too much more expensive than just doing fiberglass everywhere. So this part of the house, it's kind of interesting. We have a large door area here. This is going to be a garage door. 
but this is not a garage. In the future, this will be a culinary kitchen because the owner is a master chef and he wants to do private parties and family gatherings and so forth. So this portion here, there's a bathroom there, there's a dish pit over there, there's gonna be a big range here and another prep sink and so forth over here. So from this wall here, over this way is the culinary kitchen. From this wall, the other direction is about 1,550 square feet of living space. So they're going to live here in this space until they build their other house down at the lower part of the property where they're putting in the tank. They're going to put another house down here that they're going to live in and they may use this for uh, Airbnb or for friends and family visiting and so forth. So anyways, that's kind of a uh, overall description of uh, what we're doing here. So it's kind of an interesting project. We do projects like this. We do additions. We do garage additions, standalone garages, steel buildings, and uh, RV garages. So that's the kind of thing we do. So I hope you enjoyed this, and we'll do this again when, uh, probably when we're pretty much finished. Have a great day.